This is a lesson on exploring fractions of a set. So to start off, you're going to do this activity without my instruction. I'll read it through and then you'll pause the video to try it out. So it says 10 children are ready for art class. And what you need to do is find what fraction of the group is girls, what fraction of the group is wearing a striped shirt, and then you choose um, a feature or two for what other fractions you can use to describe the children, or more if you can. Okay, so use this picture right here. Uh, pause the video and then play again once you have completed this task. All right, so um, what you should have saw is that we're going to use stereotyping to find out which ones are girls, but we've got uh, this one here, here, and there are the girls that I can see using stereotyping and, well, maybe this one as well with short hair. Okay, um, it depends on what your stereotypes are, but we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four girls that have, that are, I guess, just four girls in the group. Now it asks what fraction of the group. So now we need to say uh, the rest of the group. Um, but including the girls. So who, what is the total in the group? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we knew that from above. Ten children. Um, next one, what fraction of the group is wearing a striped shirt? Um, so this one, we don't need to use stereotyping. We can just look. We found this person right here is wearing a striped shirt. And that looks like it. So that means that's one person out of a total of 10 people. Now you could have had a variety of answers for the last one here because you could literally just take any feature that at least one person has and then use it. Um, you could have said the number of children who are um, wearing glasses. And so we've got one here one here, and one here. So that's three out of 10. Whatever you put, it was just gonna, it needs to be out of 10. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at the connect then. It says to find a fraction of a set, follow these steps. And I showed you them above, but um, you need to do these two things and it doesn't matter which order you do them in. But you need to count the total number in the set. So that was all of the students, the total 10 students. And that's your denominator, so that's the bottom number. And then you need to count the number of items in the set with the given characteristics. So that was if they are girls, or if they're wearing striped shirts, or have glasses, or so on. And that's going to be your numerator, or the top number. Okay, so that was if um, it was the striped shirt, then this would be one here, and that would be 10, and then they would end up being one over 10. <clears throat> Um, and with fractions of a set, it's easy to tell which ones um, go on the top and which go on the bottom because you're always going to have a smaller number on, in the numerator on the top than on the bottom because it's, it's uh, out of a group. So um, let's try this example then. It says, describe this set of stars using fractions. So we have some stars here. And we need to describe the blue stars using a fraction and then describe the pink stars using a fraction. So what you're going to do is um, we can follow in the same order that I wrote above, um, finding the denominator first. So we have to find the total number of stars. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six stars. So that goes on the bottom. That's the total stars. And then blue, we have five total stars. One, two, three, four, five. And then pink stars is going to just be the opposite. So even if I if someone took these stars away and I forgot what they looked like, I could use this fraction right here to find the answer. Because I know there's only blue stars and pink stars, and I know that five of them are blue. So I could subtract five from six to find that there is one pink star out of six stars. Okay, so you can use math or counting. Sometimes in your assignment, you're going to have to just use math. <clears throat> okay, I think this lesson is pretty straightforward for you. Um, so 
please try the practice questions. There are four. Uh, one and two have to do with this uh, muffin tin. And the three and four have to do with the word vibing. Okay, so you're still finding a fraction of a set, so each answer will have a fraction. So please pause the video now and then um, play again once you have answered questions one to four in the practice. Okay, so now that you're finished, um, we've got the first one. What fraction of the set is empty? So first we need to figure out how many are in the tray altogether, how many pieces. So we've got three here. I'm going to skip count by threes. So I've got three six, nine, 12 total, going across like that. So that means the total is 12 on the bottom. Remember I counted the ones that are full and the ones that are empty. Now at this one is which fraction of the set is empty? So I've got three, six, nine, and then one in this one for 10. So 10 out of 12 of the set are empty. And then this one wants to know the opposite. What fraction of the set has muffins? So it's going to be out of 12 again because it's the same set, but now it's the opposite information. It's right here, these two muffins. And remember, I could find this too because I know that there's only an option of empty or has muffins. I know empty has 10, so I could subtract 10 from 12 to get two. All right, now let's move on to the letters in Vibank. So um, this one is asking for the letters in the word Vibank that are vowels. So remember that's A, E, I, O, and U. Sometimes Y, but we don't have a Y, so we don't need to worry about that. So what fraction of the letters in the word Vibank are vowels? So we need to figure out how many letters in total there are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six vowels, six letters. Now, which ones are vowels? I'm looking for A, E, I, O, and U. I can see that I is a vowel and A is a vowel. So that tells me that there are two vowels. Two out of six are vowels. This one's asking for consonants. That's anything that is not a vowel. So any letter except these ones. So that tells me that that's going to be a V, a B, an N and a K. That is four. Four out of six, or four sixths. Six, that's hard to say, <laughs> um, is this fraction of the set. Okay, so that's what this lesson is, and um, you might whip through it pretty quick, but make sure that you're doing it properly. Double check that you've put uh, all of the uh, set in the, in the denominator. And oh, your assignment is right here. It's page 181 to 182, numbers 1 and then 3 to 8.